Hello, boy loves. It's me, your Kingdom Hearts boy, back with another video. And today we'll be talking about the top five Kingdom Hearts games in the series. Let's start the video. Number five is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Now, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I get people should probably tell them to, hey, do put this down the list. I get, I get that it's a really fan favorite game. Although, it's not to the point where I would consider it a the best game ever. I wouldn't even put I wouldn't put it in my top three at least. Like, and, but I, I, I would most certainly put it in my top five. Because Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep introduced so, uh, the first command menu in the series. And, they, and it was the second Osaka team that, uh, game that was actually released by Square Enix. In... Or by sleep open the window for games like Dream Drop Distance and Recoded and, uh, and uh, brought in elements for what we have right now with Kingdom Hearts 3, especially in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. It, and its three playable characters it, uh, kind of brought in the ability to play as Sora and Riku in the drop system and kind of influenced that. And that kind of, it, it the, the three playable characters. It really helped and also its story impact was amazing it helped so much but yeah Maybe num it's second to last worst to recode it. And honestly I almost agree if not but it, if it weren't for how ama how like P you know how it t it doesn't tell you what to do automatically? I actually like that. It, it seems satisfying to me. To me and like when I when I finish a mission or I beat a secret boss it's so satisfied because you're using the materials that Sora had at that time, and 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 also the nostalgia. It just kind of brings me in, and it just it's a nostalgia feeling, you know. Number three is Kingdom Hearts three. Now, uh, I get. That if I walk outside right now, there would be a riot of tons of people with nine shotguns, rocket launchers, and maybe a bazooka? Maybe a nuke just coming down, but I get people think Kingdom Hearts 3 is like the best thing five ever, but Kingdom Hearts 3, it was a good it's a good game, but like I like I said in my hopes video, there was only it was only really, really exciting like Kingdom hype it was supposed to be this great thing that took five six years no i think it was six years that took six years to make and it came out less than i expected i got love the reasons you know the gameplay transformations the flow motion and free running the flow motion yeah they kind of ruined it but still it, it's still good the game the game was amazing uh, you could run on walls, fight key people with keyblade transformations, seek the bosses. Heck, even and with Kingdom Hearts Remind, it kind of boosted it. But still, I just it kind of it when, when it came out, all the hype surrounding it vanished in a split second. It kind of is really it kind of is really disappointing. It ha it had a bit of potential. It kind of wasted it on hype. Number two is Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, people will agree with me in this department, except for maybe my other sister. But Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, it was a good game. It, it introduced flow motion, great movement mechanics, it showed the maybe last appearance of the command menu. I bet it's going to be the last because, you know, the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is out and I doubt they're going to do any more spin offs. As they call them anymore, but 
I think uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance is one of is number two because like it's one of the best. Like when you think Kingdom Hearts, you think Young Sora and Young Riku in the drop system. That's what I think, at least. When I think Kingdom Hearts, I think movement. When I think Kingdom Hearts, I think Keyblades flowing but purple. When I think Kingdom Hearts, I think Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance may not be number one, but it's in a, but it might. But it is the first game I ever played. And in saying this, that might just sound like nostalgia talking. But like I said, Kingdom Hearts Dream Distance, it showed a lot of things needed for the series. Especially the command menu and its importance. Yes, even if it is broken. Number one is Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, when I'm saying this right now, people are probably going to And I know for the thing Kingdom Hearts 2, like, okay, yeah, I bet, like, uh, it's going to be number one and how there's a bunch of people in my door, but honestly, I, I was kind of right on that. I was kind of wrong. Kingdom Hearts 2, I, okay, Kingdom Hearts 1 was a good game, okay? And you're gonna beat the crap out of me in this. If, I w if this was a top 10, you would probably have number 6. But, Kingdom Hearts 1, well, it was a good game, but it had a lot of flaws. When Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, it showed, it kinda got the slots, beat it, kicked it to the curb, and it's, you know, it stole its money, you know, whatever, super butter button sets. But, like I said, Kingdom Hearts 2, it added the objective menu, dry forms, dual wielding, it uh, introduced more characters, and then from that point, they had to make so many spin-offs that it was so awesome. Kingdom Hearts 2 was, this, it was that one thing that sparked so many. Kingdom Hearts 2, boom, showed a prologue. Boom, showed another thing. Oh, showed recoded? Oh yeah, sure. 3 5 2 days. Kingdom Hearts 2 sparked it all. Because of that game, we have so many other games. It is the core. Kingdom Hearts 1 may have started the game. But Kingdom Hearts 2 sparked it. And that is. It, it started the Kingdom Hearts conundrum. It was amazing. Kingdom Hearts 2 showed what the series could have been. And it did. It did what it was intended to do a spark. Well, that will be the end of the video. I know it's like six minutes long. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing this. But yeah. So that's the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below if I should do Dream Drop Distance next or Kingdom Hearts Zero Point Two. I'm probably gonna do Dream Drop Distance anyway, no matter what you say, but eh, I'll do it. Probably Zero Point Two. I'll probably do it just the live stream, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.